hi guys uh, today's video is about power query and uh, in power query i face uh, one of the issues which is related to uh, the expression error and let's investigate how we can resolve this error so this is your excel window on excel 2016 and if you go in data in data there is a power query option ok and in power query in power query we have uh, i want to open actually i want to combine my uh, two of the files which has the data around 10 lakh uh, of data and uh, i want to combine both the files onto excel so this is a task i wanted to do so but while doing this uh, very important task i face one of the issues okay uh, while uh, creating a custom <coughs> uh, custom field so let me check first uh, so this is my file path which already in my system i simply click on this folder it's a power query editor window and here if you see the load load to and i want to load i just simply want to add it first in my uh, this uh, on, on this window is a power query editor window and in that if you see these are my uh, binary this is the content these are my two files and this is the file name 2016-2017 and if you see the file size it's around 348-24712 bytes okay which is quite huge and <coughs> while uh, so what task I'm gonna do I simply wanted to you know uh, add one of the custom column or the custom field you can say so I simply add try to add the custom field and while applying this formula you got to know three things in about the power query one thing is that the power query if you choose the wrong field name in the power query let's say you to apply the things on content and instead of that if you apply your name it will not work at all because this uh, field is uh, the the operation which you want the data is available only in this content okay second reason would be uh, it's a upper and lower case second reason uh, it may be the upper and lower case so let's see yeah uh, there's a function which is called csv dot dot document and I simply insert the content field uh, now you asking me why you choose content field because in content field it's uh, it's a binary data and it shows my file extension name which is CSV so that's why I have to choose and I wanted to uh, instead of uh, the content uh, the field name I want to exchange it by some other name but the data is still there ok so I simply wanted to filtering the CSV files in another way you can see so if I give this name custom CSV CSV that will be the appropriate name for this uh, exercise purpose let me click here is a glitch it shows expression error the name uh, csv document wasn't recognized but the csv document is already there if you see if you see here i choose already a csv document and if you go my data source if i click here if you see it says csv format it's already a csv then how come this error comes shall let's let us investigate okay let me double click here if you double click on do onto that so what are the uh, steps you have followed the this that op the open this window so <coughs> i have read the correct formula then there is a mistake then I tell you guys see 
just a C S V uh, mistake. Uh, that's why this uh, function would not work. Let me try again. Let's see. It's custom CSV table one, table two data has been created instead of the binary name. So now my custom field has been created. And if I again, if I want to see, let's see. Here if they are observing uh, what I uh, what I wanted to convey to you like uh, whenever you choose any of the fields in that make sure you choose appropriate uh, the field uh, name the column name on which the doc, uh, on which the uh, formula needs to be uh, the function or formula needs to be uh, applied second thing uh, the uh, power query is case sensitive language make sure you enter like as we see earlier let me do this mistake again and if I click again again you see the expression error so now you got to know how to uh, uh, how to came out the solution of the this expression error so expression error it simply means like you are making a mistake while typing a formula it's an upper or a lower case you have to check and in any of the case it will not show you uh, if you go if you depends on the other bottom like no syntax error have been detected then you may uh, maybe like see if I click here it doesn't show any error but still the expression error the error is still there okay so let me correct it again and in case if you like uh, now I don't want uh, this binary field so I simply choose what I want I do want two fields which is uh, sales uh, the CSV and the content so I choose uh, if you want to delete any of the fields in power query then you have to click on first uh, here and there these two fields I want rest everything I don't want so simply go on remove other columns that means these two fields exist the rest of the things will be removed by itself and if you want to do make it front back you can do it very easily ok uh, so that's how we can do this and this is the purpose of this exercise now you got to know how to tackle this expression error which I try to show you and if you want some documentation related to that which I have created so it will help you out if you are facing similar kind of an error, error and that's how you can come up with this and this is the scenario where you uh, face uh, this error so guys thank you so much for your time and patience I hope you enjoy the video